All right, welcome to day six of the 12 days of chiropractic. Today we're gonna to talk about exercise. Now we talked about some of the physical stresses and while stress is an exercise, it's a great exercise because you're building towards something better. And I know we all understand the importance of exercise through the year, but it's important that we don't get off that routine and we continue to build on that, especially as we're going into the holiday season. So we're gonna talk about some of the tips today that can keep you on your routine and keep you healthy and keep you moving forward as we enter this stressful season and this busy season of the year. So um, the first thing I wanna talk about is make a plan. When it comes time to exercise, don't just wing it because the first thing that comes up, you're gonna, you're gonna throw that out the window. Make sure you make a plan. Find a time that you can exercise, whether it's in the morning or the evening, find a time that works for you and set that time aside, make that time for you. And that won't just help you with those physical stresses, that will help you with the mental time, the mental stresses too. It's important to take time for yourself and that will help you break away from that stress and give your body the chance it needs to maintain some balance. So make a plan, schedule a time, whether it's over your lunch hour, whether you're getting up early in the morning, find a time that's you time and use that time to be active. Um, and as we become busier, um, those times, even set aside five, 10 minutes here and there, go for a walk. All those little things, all those little times throughout our day build up. You wanna be active for at least an hour a day. You should be, you hear the Move 60 um, campaigns they have they have on TV and on the radio. That's important, but it doesn't have to be 60 minutes at once. If you have 15 minutes here or there, go for a walk. Um, there's different things that we can show you even in the office in short amounts of time that you can do that will impact your health. Also, a good one, be an active watcher. I know a lot of people love to watch TV, a lot, you love to watch movies. There's a lot of things out there, especially this time of year. Be an active watcher. When you're watching TV, exercise. There's little exercises you can do. Um, you can jump on the treadmill. We can show you some different things. You don't need a ton of equipment in your, in your home to do this, but use that time to do something with it. Don't just sit on the, sit on the couch. You can continue to enjoy the things you like to do while being active, and it's a great way to do two things at once, and it's a great way to keep your body moving. Um, the other thing, uh, as we're becoming more and more active, remember that you can't do everything delegate the things that you can delegate because there, we all have the same amount of time in the day and you have to make decisions and don't put your health last. If you put your health last, it's going to be the thing that gets bumped every single time. So make sure to delegate and have the time you need to put yourself first because if you're not healthy and happy, then you're not going to be able to help anybody else. So that's important too. Um, and also, as you're socializing and with other people, that social aspect of exercise is very important too, and it can help tremendously. So find people you like to work out with, people who are gonna push you, people who are gonna stay positive and encourage you. That's very important and it's gonna to continue to build and you're able to help and inspire others too, which is an awesome thing and we love that here. So as you're entering the holiday season, remember, keep building on the momentum you've been building on. You're doing a great job and we wanna end up going into the new year even stronger and healthier than before. So don't let these couple weeks let you slip up. Continue doing the positive things you're doing because your future self is really going to appreciate and you're going to be a lot healthier in the long run. So I will look forward to talking to you tomorrow. I know uh, tomorrow we're talking about everybody's favorite subject, sleep. So we're going to talk about some of the things that we can do to help, um, help you sleep better. And that's going to be very important because we're all limited on time. And we want to make sure that we get the most out of the time we do have to rest. So I will talk to you tomorrow.